Hello everyone, I'm back and today I'm going to talk about how can you configure variables in your Azure DevOps pipelines. Um, and the, the documentation and the samples that I use is already in the Microsoft documentation rig with Azure DevOps, um, Azure DevOps pipelines. And I will give you this link so you have to do the search by yourself if you want to go uh, more deeply, if you want to start everything that I'm going to explain in this video, it's going to be here. I'm also going to add it in the video description. So let's start. I created the, the one, two, three, four, five example here. And the first example is ready with variables to scope. So let's see this example here. Um, the example when you define a variable, you can do it globally, or you can do a global definition, or you can go and go to any specific environment or scope like this one I created in the job. So in this case, I'm using the global variable and the value is global value. And in the scope of the job is going to be the local value. Uh, in this case, the, the priority in Azure um, pipelines is inside out. Everything defined really inside as in the job on the stage is going to be override anything is in the in the global environment. So let's try this example here. Let's run it. Uh, so this one, keep in mind, if you if you have um, if you are creating your pipeline, maybe you do some kind of repeatable uh, definitions. So you have to go and then maybe refactor in your pipeline, and then you realize that something that is applicable for uh, as global as really common, just use it as a global variable. If anything is more specific, just this, just use the specific environment or scope like uh, the job. And there you go. The local value was overriding the global environment that was uh, the first point defined. Um, this is the first example. Let's go to the second one. The second one is related with variables. Um, how do you can get access to the variables? So when you define variables, you can get uh, by default Azure pipelines create those variables. Let's see here. We have when we define the variables tier as a web and tag it with the value dev, you can call those variables using the syntax, the variable syntax is dollar parenthesis and the variable name, or actually the box create those variables and as environment environment variables. So you can call either way using this syntax or using this syntax here. Let's try here, run it. And the good point of this one is, for example, most of the time the applications or maybe you have containers or whatever, and then you define environment variables, those environment variables are, um, will be available for your applications because your application doesn't know the, the Azure Pipeline syntax, but then the, the applications know um, the, the environment variables. So in this first case, we are using the regular variable. In the second one, we are calling this one using environment variables. This is pretty nice and um, just play a little bit around. So be aware that every time that you define a variable, it will be available for uh, as an global as a, an environment variable. So let's see in the build. The other example that I have secrets. So when you define secrets because you have sensitive information, and in this case. Um, you won't be able to define any variables as a secret in your pipelines. That is not allowed. You will be you won't be able to do it. So you have to define your variables here in this session. As you can see, I already created one that is secret value that I'm using right here. And um, let's say if you want to create a new one, a new one, and then you want something that is really secret maybe and then you can keep it secret you won't be able to see um, the value of that variable in the uh, pipelines outputs um, in this case i'm going to use this one i don't want to create a new one um, but the point here is secret is a little bit tricky so uh, we saw before a variable every time that we define a variable was available already as an environment variable that won't happen and that won't be the case uh, from the from when you are defining secrets, secrets by default um, uh, by default Azure Pipeline won't won't create um, environment variable for secrets. So if you want to create an environment variable for your secret, you have to do a wrapper 
or you have to do a workaround like this one. I create a variable here, then assign it to my variable. The secret variable is available. What is not available is as an environment variable. So in this case, this one is going to work. This one won't work because it won't be there by default. But then I'm doing a wrapper and I want to see that value here. So let's try it. Let's run it. Um, in this case, this is, is something smart to do because it, Azure DevOps won't create the environment variable because you are working with something that is sensitive, credentials, tokens, uh, certificate, that kind of things. They won't put it in environment. Variable. If you do it, it's because it's up to you. So here we go. The first ones, this one works because we are using the variable, the secret variable. This one won't work because we are using the secret variable, but we are trying to call that variable as an environment variable. It's not there. And the third one, we, is, we are using the wrapper. So keep that in mind. Um, the, the other example that I have is with group. So what is a group? A group is pretty simple. Uh, a simple way to define variables in the group is you just define the group name and then you just call the variables in that group. So how do you define a group? In this section here, in the pipeline section, you have a library. And on the library, you can create uh, a new variable group. I already created one here. And this one, I, I created two variables. One is m and tier. Those are the names. These are the values. If you want to convert these values to figures, you just need to do this. Pretty simple. And also, you need to provide access to the pipelines. In, in other case, you won't be able to um to def to get access to that one in the security you can define which group which person which uh, group has permission to those variables so this is really um pretty nice feature here so let's see an example again in the group what we have here we have uh, a group that is named it is development and then we just not, you, we are just using the variable name pretty simple Let's give a shot. Um, let's try to run it. So keep in mind, for example, you have different environments or different business logic or whatever you want to define development, you want to define QA, production, staying, as many groups as you want. And then you want to uh, segregate those variables in those groups. You can use this uh, philosophy. Um, with this approach, it's gonna, you keep, uh, let's see first here. And there you go, it's working. It's pretty, it's pretty nice feature. So with this logic or this approach, you can keep your project pretty clean. Your pipeline is pretty clean. And anything that is added to those groups, you just need to name it here. Keep in mind, um, there is something that you have to keep in mind. Let's say if you add a new variable in one group, you have to keep adding the same variable to other groups. Uh, that's up to you, but it's really nice uh, feature. And the other example that we have here, and I believe it's the last one that I have, is how do you can use templates. So the concept of templates allow you to define a variable file with file, sorry, with all your variables definitions there. And the variables are loaded at the first time, and then you can call those variables as key um, with the variable name. It's pretty simple. Uh, let's try this one first. Let's see what happened here. Um, with the template, there's a huge benefit because with the template, you can define a template. Uh, you can define multiple templates. It's up to you. And then you, you keep your pipeline code pretty simple. That's one thing. Uh, the other one is easy to support and maintain. The third one, another benefit is uh, you can keep your configuration in one place and then you can keep the, uh, the pipeline logics in other files. This is pretty nice. Let's see here. And there you go. The application name is crazy. The version is 1.9. What is that file defined? I missed that part. So if we go to the project, we will see that the variable is already there. So the file is already there. My variable template is in the, at the same level of my uh, Azure pipeline, but I can create folders and put it that one. So we have name. If we, if we, if we change the name, let's say that I want to change the name. Um, this is, um, this is crazy app wall and we're going to change the version to 10.1 point point. 
and then we commit that change and our pylam is going to be triggering by default because I have CICD enabled already here. If we go here, we will see there is already running. So what I did is just I just changed the configuration, but I never touched my pylam. It's pretty nice. And my pylam is still working. So that's a that's a good benefit. And there you go. The app name is crazy upward and um, 10.1.9. So I already using the same path, but you can use a specific folder and then in that folder you have maybe different configurations so you just need to provide the relative path to your pylam uh, jamo configuration um, that's pretty basically what I, uh, what I want to show you um, how do you configure we we saw how do you configure global versus local how can you get access to using the regular variable syntax or using environment syntax how can you define um, secrets um, and the secrets won't be available uh, by default as an environment variables if you want to do as an environment variable you have to do it by yourself um, if you want to define variables using group for segregation by concentrated segregation business logic uh, it's up to you you can use the groups um, if you want to create files with your variables you can use multiple files with the variable definition and then you load those variables and the good benefit of this one is you keep your configuration in different file and then you keep tracking your uh, pylimes logic in a different pylime jamal um, that's basically everything that i have for you guys if you want to know anything else you want to see something with more details if i missed something just leave a comment let me know uh, and, ha and thank you for watching my video if you like it uh, please subscribe it and i'll see you in the next video bye